Dr. Hargan's board chair, David Jones, Jr., and members of the Jefferson County Board of Education, this evening will highlight the outstanding musical and academic talents of District 2 students. We begin with Myers Middle Wagner High School Orchestra, who will demonstrate their talents through an instrumental presentation under the direction of Al Alice Markowitz, Ms. Markowitz, and students, please begin your presentation. David Jones Jr., please come forward to thank the students for their excellent performance. If you'll please join the orchestra and Ms. Markowitz for a photograph. And I would like to ask Dr. Katie Zeitz to please join them. <laughs> Next, we have the honor of receiving a student demonstration of learning from the Seneca High School Urban AgriScience Future Farmers of America Scholars. They will demonstrate parliamentary procedures that mirror a FFA National Convention Ceremony. Seneca students, Cassidy Cartwright, Aiden Paulson, Aubrey Wells, Tori Henderson, Nanika Codwell, D'Angelo Baker, Lexi Hughes, Christina Humphrey, Hannah Hurd, and Jada Castillo. Please come forward to begin your presentation. The meeting room will come to order. We are now holding a meeting of the Seneca FFA chapter. Mr. Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they're at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President. Listen, station by the door. Your duties there? Through this door, past many friends of the FFA. It's my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they're alone. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the President in maintaining the room. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the states of Alaska to Puerto Rico and from the states of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurers. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there? We keep a record of receipts and disbursements just as Washington kept his farm accounts carefully and accurately. We encourage thrift among the members, strive to build our financial standing through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary. Stationed by the Iroquois. Your duties there? I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. 
Being older than the rest of you, I'm asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will be based upon true knowledge and right group wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tilled of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president in these places beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of the new era in agriculture. If we shall follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The secretary will call the roll of members. There are 10 members, one advisor, and numerous guests, Madam President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? <laughs> to practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA membership possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this meeting of the Seneca FFA chapter duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matter which may be properly presented. What is the pleasure of the group? Madam, Madam President, President. Jada. I move that we have five elementary schools participate in animals for learning. Second. It is improperly moved by Jada and seconded by Aiden that five elementary schools will participate in animals for learning. Is there any debate? Madam, Madam President. President. D'Angelo. I call for the orders of the day. Discussion of the main motion. Thank you. Madam President. Lexi. I rise to the point of information. State your point. What exactly is animals for learning? Animals for Learning is where students from Seneca High School and elementary schools come out to the field next to our Ag Department and we bring out typical barnyard animals that they don't see in their daily lives and we teach them about the importance of these animals and about the importance of agriculture. Thank you. Madam President. Hannah. I disagree with this motion because last year we had two elementary schools in addition to our own high school attend Animals for Learning and it could be a bit hectic. So I think that five elementary schools could be a little chaotic and too much for us. So I encourage everyone to vote against this motion. Madam President. Nautica. I disagree with the previous speaker given that we have more than 70 members in our FFA chapter. And we also bring out the future, far, future educators of America and they also um, escort the students around and supervise them to the different animal stations. So I encourage everyone to agree with the main motion. Madam President, Auburn. I agree with this motion because it'll better educate these students. Last year I was actually asked if the donkey that I was taking care of could fly. So it just goes to show that they don't know a lot about farm animals or animals in general for that much. So I encourage everybody to vote in favor of this motion. Madam, Madam President, President, Jada. I'd like to point out the fact that just because the event is called Animals for Learning, it doesn't mean that animals is the only thing we have to offer. I know for a fact that each year the program grows along with the event. And we also offer composting sessions as well as the importance of growing fruits. <coughs> Madam President, Lexi. I agree with this motion because I think that it would be very educational for these students, just like Aubrey said. Last year we included a dairy section where we taught the kids how to make ice cream, and I believe that it would open up their eyes to other agricultural jobs <laughs> other than just being a farmer. Madam President, Aiden. I'm going to refer this to the Public Relations Committee because I thought like they'd be able to talk about this further. Motion passed for like a second. Madam President. Tori. I'll call for previous question. Second. Second. It's been properly moved by Tori and seconded by Nautica that we will vote on the main motion that reads that five elementary schools will participate in Animals for Learning. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. Motion from Madam President. Christina. I move to adjourn the meeting. It's been properly moved by Christina and seconded by Aiden that we will adjourn this meeting. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. I now declare this meeting adjourned. Mr. Jones, please congratulate the students for their exemplary presentation. Joining in the recognition is their teachers, Kristen Wright and Bethany Manley, and Principal Kim Harbaugh. It is now our pleasure to receive a student demonstration of learning from Atherton High School students, Donnie King, Kaylin Fulton, and Yolexis Mesa, who will do a presentation entitled, The Main Event. Students will share what it's like to be part of the Education Career Academy on their first day, and how their perspective changes through the course 
of the program as they develop their abilities as teachers. Students, please come forward to begin your presentation. And, uh, first off, we'd like to say thank you for having us here today. Uh, we are enrolled in the Education Career Academy at Atherton High School, and our presentation is entitled The Main Event. Throughout our lives, it can be easy to focus on day-to-day -day activities or become wrapped up in specific events that we look forward to. As students, it can be challenging to keep all of this in perspective as we, become bal as we balance daily assignments, long-term projects, and those once-in-a-lifetime moments. We want to say thank you to everyone who sacrifices their time, energy, and resources to give us these opportunities. Every student in JCPS is on a journey. We all start at different places, but somewhere along the way, with the support of our teachers, administrators, and all of you here today, we learn to look past all these events to see the main event. It's 7.45 a.m. on your first day at Atherton High School. You've been sitting in your child and human development class for five minutes, and you're wondering what it's all about. You hear your teacher explaining that this four-year program will help you to pursue a career in teaching, and you start thinking about why you signed up for it in the first place. Some students sign up for it because they know they were born to be a teacher, and others sign up because they heard about the cool things we get to do, like taking home simulated babies and leaving school for co-op. On that first day, you take in so much information about the program, the classes you will take each year, what it will be like to work with elementary teachers and their students, and even the skills you will develop along the way, such as lesson planning, assessments, and classroom management. In the beginning, the co-op experience may seem like just a fun way to leave school, but even after just one day in the classroom, I was able to see that it would be much more than that. The connections you make with individual students and the progress you can see over a school year is what makes the program special to me. Actually visiting and taking part in the classroom setting is something that you can't get out of a textbook. But it isn't just students in the Education Career Academy who gain something from this experience. The students at the elementary schools also gain a mentor or resource along with the students opening, along with the teachers opening their doors to us who gain another helping hand. As you continue throughout the year, you learn that the Education Career Academy is a family and consumer sciences course, and suddenly career possibilities that you never knew existed come to life. Some of you might already be familiar with FCS, which stands for Family and Consumer Sciences, which <coughs> used to be known as Home Economics or Home Sciences. But what you may not know is that FCS is not about becoming a housewife. Family and Consumer Sciences is a profession and field of study that deals with economics and management of the home and community. FCS involves everything from nutrition, fashion and interior design, education, family studies, and much more. Being in a family consumer sciences class allows you to get experience that you never would have gotten in another classroom. Some of the specific real life experiences that we personally get to encounter are going to co-op, both for observation and to work one-on-one -on -one with the children, rather than just reading out of a textbook or listening to a lecture. In my class alone, there are five students who have decided to become family consumer sciences teachers because of this class, and we aren't even two year, full years into the program. Most of the students that have been in the program have decided to pursue teaching as a career, as the Alexis, Donnie, and I have. On my first day of school, I entered room 221 at Atherton High School. This was the destination of my freshman fourth period class, Prince was a teaching. In the fall of 2012, I entered the class not knowing what it was or that I had even signed up for it. I soon found out that I had just entered a teacher education course. With zero interest in becoming a teacher or co-oping at elementary or middle school or learning who Howard or Bloom was, I was immediately filling out schedule change cards. If you fast forward four years to the fall of 2016, you'll see the same person who uh, resented the idea of becoming a teacher planning to take classes at EKU and major in secondary education. Through this class, I have built a professional portfolio highlighting my progression from freshman year to senior, taken and passed a pre-pack assessment, created and taught multiple lesson plans, and have been in elementary and middle school classrooms since my freshman year. I can confidently say that due to this program, I have a future in education. I can also confidently say that none of this is the main event. The main event in this class is the lifelong friends that you will make. It is the learning experiences in and out of the classroom that is unique to this class. The main event isn't doing a worksheet or taking home a fake baby. It's not leaving school for an hour. The main event is being in an environment where you are encouraged to try new things. 
The main event is seeing a child transform through your efforts and engaging in authentic, real-world experiences that prepare you for the future. The main event is realizing that you can make a difference. Thank you. Mr. Jones, please congratulate the Atherton students for their outstanding student demonstration. Joining in the recognition is their teacher, Candace Hunt, and principal, Dr. Thomas Aberly. Thank you. Now, please join me in viewing a video montage of District 2 schools. Today, we're going to dedicate 26 different trees. The children prepared messages to express their feelings. One of them says, be peaceful yourself to set a good example or to promote peace. We're in Field Elementary. I think the most fun part about this is getting to come every morning before school and work with all the computers. School's becoming exciting again. It's, it's fun. Do they bite? No, they don't bite. We're having animals for learning. We're inviting a whole bunch of kids from Goldsmith Elementary and the Benet School. Hawthorne Elementary is immersing their students in education in a spectacular way with their Spanish immersion program. Mi escuela es muy bueno. Los maestros están muy bueno también porque pueden enseñar mucho español. We are at Barrett Traditional Middle School and it's kind of like field day. Hashtag all in, that's our slogan for the year, so we're just working together doing exercise. Here at Highland Middle School, we are launching our first annual career day themed Love Your Job. People from different careers are coming to our school to like show us about what we'll do in the real life when we get older. The two is walking its way. We're doing an experiment over different periods of time. We tested over 10 minutes and 24 hours. There were different outcomes and really different outcomes. We are at Atherton High School today to celebrate Farm to School Week. We're making chicken quinoa burritos with cheese, esquiches de loches, which is the Mexican corn salad, and we're also making jicama slaw. In a former life, I practiced law. I practiced uh, in over 20 courthouses throughout the Commonwealth. But my favorite courtroom by far is the Ellen B. Ewing courtroom here at Seneca High School. We are at Wagner High School. Today we were focusing on our principles of biomedical science class. Learning how to get DNA by itself and analyze it, and we're trying to do that with Andy Garcia's crime scenes. I want to give a golden ore to Nancy and the value that you exhibit every day is our students are cared for and treated as if they are our own. So Nancy, thank you. Dr. Hargens and members of the Jefferson County Board of Education, this concludes our recognitions for this evening. Thank you. Thank you.